having dinner with your parents, grandparents, have, or have a big family dinner with an uh, extended family. A lot of the times you're going to see kids, teenagers, even parents, even adults on their phones, looking down at their phones, social media, text message, emails, but there's, and there's not a lot of face-to-face, one-on-one interaction going on. Uh, this problem, this, I, I think this problem has arisen because of social media because of the social media that uh, over the past 10 years, it has became big for not just us, but not just teenagers, uh, young adults, but even people, uh, adults older than us. Now, by raising a hand, how many of us have ever had one or still have one of these? Exactly. And uh, a study shown on CNN.com Teenagers are on social media for at least nine hours a day. And uh, according, according to TechCrunch.com, uh, the number of people using uh, social media services has surpassed uh, one billion people. Social media, it has taken over, it has taken over, it barely has taken over our lives and our minds. And it also has had an impact on the way we communicate with each other, face-to-face, one-on-one. Even our, um, not just verbally, but our facial expressions, how we read facial expressions. Uh, in this TED Talk, I will be discussing three different topics. I will be giving you uh, some some more statistics about uh, social media usage, uh, how social media is affecting communication, and how can, how we can resolve this problem. A couple statistics. Um, I did some research, and I found that uh, in 2008, the percentage of the U.S. that was using social media was 24 percent. And now, in 2017, this number has skyrocketed to 81%. So that's 81% of the U.S. nation using social media. And uh, I found this. I found this on statistic, uh, statistic.com. Um, Facebook is leading all the other social media platforms with 1.8 billion people that have a Facebook account. Uh, and according to socialmedia.com, 32% of teen, uh, teens uh, think Instagram as being the most important social media platform that, that there is. Social media is ruining communication in three different ways. The first way I'm gonna talk about it is is the lack of one-on-one and face-to-face -face communication. Uh, adolescence, adolescence is a period that is very important for social learning. This could explain why teens are more often to uh, more in tune to what is going on in their respective cultures. Uh, with the rise with the rise of social media, uh, we we might we may even be learning to read likes and shares instead of facial expressions. Uh, I got this off of CNN.com from Susie Evans, uh, Susie East. Um, she also states that, for, uh, that before social media, if you were having face-to-face -face interactions, everything was qualitative. You use someone's gestures or facial expressions so that you can see how effective your message was. Now, in the age of social media, you're not able to do this. Everybody, everybody is looking at what people think of you as likes, or if they shared, or if they retweeted your tweet, or if they sent you a DM of your message. But this is, this is hurting our face-to-face -face interactions because we're not able to see these facial expressions of people, and it's also hurting us when we get in person because we're not able to talk to people and get a reaction off of a smile or a smirk 
Instead, we uh, a lot of teams, a lot of teams in the recent studies, they're not able to figure out what what people how people are feeling when they're saying things. And this is this is a problem because when you when you're uh, when you're having one on one face to face interactions, it's a lot. It means a lot more to people than it than it does when you're over a phone, over a text message, or during a tweet. When over over a tweet, and this when you have lack uh, when you have this lack of one-on-one -on -one communication, you. You can't. You're not able to give people that this kind of love, love and affection that people are are, are lusting for in life because you're not you your life your communication skills are not up to par where they should be. The uh, second one I'm gonna uh, 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 when there's the opportunity to see face to face. Uh, offer, this is some uh, stats from. Uh, USA Today for college students, when there is an opportunity to see people face to face on the weekends, for example, up to 11% of adults still prefer to stay at home and communicate on their devices instead of going out and hanging out with their friends, which this is a problem. The, uh, why, why, would, why would teenagers, young adults, why would they rather stay in the house and go on their phone, be on Twitter and Instagram? Instead of hanging out with their friends, having a good time, um, people. T uh, this is from a Florida, uh, South Florida graduate. Uh, people tend to want to show others that they are having having fun, than actually having fun themselves. So people would rather put it on Instagram, put it on Twitter that they're having a great time, make it look like they're having a blast, instead of actually having that great time. They're on their phone instead of enjoying what's around them. There, there's a greater desire to share with other people you barely know than actually hanging out with friends and making memories. We have a lot of people, including me, I have a lot of friends on Instagram I don't even know. And I can relate to this because you want, you want, people, to, you want people to like you. That's basically what it is. You want people to enjoy, enjoy who you are. But you're missing out on the fact that you have actual friends that want to hang out with you, that want to make memories with you. You're missing out on this because the social media you rather you rather uh, have other people like you than what your friends think. Hey. Another reason is uh, lack of active listening. This is social media is it messes up your lack of active listening skills because you. Because when you're scrolling, say you're scrolling on Instagram, you're scrolling down your timeline. You can either choose to look at what the people say, people have said, or you just scroll past it, don't even care. And another way this is hurting is when, how many times have you been on your phone looking out, looking on Instagram, on Facebook, people are talking to you, and you can't even, you're not even paying attention to, not even hearing, you. not even hearing, you. you're just yes, yeah, you're not really listening to what they're saying. It, I found I found myself doing this plenty of times, especially my my parents just did. It, it, I've done it plenty of times, and I know I'm not the only one. This is this is hurting our lack of uh, our active listening skills. We need these when we're at, when we're having this communication with people. This is this is also another reason why uh, social media it is hurting our communication because we're when we listen we're not. We're not activating our listening skills. And the last one I'm um, going to talk about is our lack of re reciprocated respect. Now, I know a lot of us have heard or maybe even been a part of cyberbullying. This is this uh, this was and still is a big problem because when people are getting cyberbullied, the the bully that is. Uh, that is behind the computer screen. They're not being. You can't see them. They're behind the computer screen, behind the keyboard. They're not going to have that same respect, the same respect for you, if they're not face to face. If that makes sense. 
Um, we, the uh, social media has made a platform for cyberbullying to be a part of our everyday lives. And it, it, has, hurt, it has hurt people. Uh, and last thing what I'm gonna talk about, I'm gonna, uh, let's save the art of communication. For the first way we can save it is basically put down your phones. Have a good time when you're with your when you're with when you're out with your friends. Choose to listen to your friends' conversations. Choose to activate your listening skills. Show, uh, activate reciprocated respect. Um, enhance our face-to-face, one-on-one listening skills, our communication skills. Because we're teens now. We're in college. We're we're doing things to prepare us for the future. But if we're always on our phones, we're always looking down at our screens, our, 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 our uh, cell phones, we aren't going to be able to prepare ourselves for the future how we think we are preparing ourselves. Like say you need to get a job, you're in, in the middle of an interview. You have to be able to have these one-on-one -on -one communication skills when you're trying to get this job with your boss. You can't sit there and have one-word answers with your boss because then it's not going to help you get this job that you really need. Another way, another way you can you can do this is when you're when you're out at dinner with your friends, family, and the, the um, at the start of dinner, put your phones in the middle of middle of the table. I've tried it with my friends and it's worked. Um, I'm sure some of us have heard about this technique, and it actually does. It helps you actually have conversations with the people that you're there with. It helps you actually have a good time. And even if it just lasts for 10 minutes, at least you had a 10 minute conversation with these people around you. And we need, basically we need to, we need to save this art because it's important. It's important because it makes us, it helps us bring, um, helps us have, feel belonging and feel the, uh, the love that we need from other people when we have face-to-face -face conversations because studies have shown that face-to-face, -face, one -on one-on-one communication has, uh, is way more effective than if you're talking over a telephone or if you're texting. And this one-on-one, this, -on -one, uh, uh, this communication, this art of communication, it's really important, it's really important for us. And then, in this speech I have, uh, in this TED Talk I have, uh, I've covered three things I covered. I gave you guys some statistics of what social media is doing, uh, what social media is doing uh, to our society. I gave, um, I gave you three different ways that uh, communication is being hurt by social media. And I given you some tips, some ways that we can save this art of communication. And I'm gonna leave you guys with this. Just think about how much, how much more fun we can have with each other if we just practice our one-on-one -on -one communication skills instead of being on our phone, being on our phone on Instagram, acting like we're having fun.